that brings me to the next thing, which is the production of this beautiful Colago. Um, when we set about thinking, what was the bike that we were going to use? What could it look like? What would it need to look like? And where would we start? So what we did was we started with this Colnago concept frame. Uh, one of the things that uh, we had as a focal point for the whole thing for this complete project is efficiency. After all, we must remember we're trying to close this shortfall of 18 miles that we've got. So we looked at every individual component, but we also looked at it from a viewpoint of what an endurance race would ask of you as opposed to a mainstream event. Uh, so, I think to capitulate all of that is to say it's a blend of many different aspects. Um, one of the primary things, aerodynamics. The second thing, comfort. We're going to be sitting on this for a long period of time, so it's got to be comfortable and, and as aerodynamic as possible. So when we looked at all the frames uh, from Colnago, we decided to go with this concept uh, because it brings the aerodynamic properties that we need. It's a road bike setup and this is the way that we're going to present it uh, going to the race. From the handlebars and stem mount um, point of view, we have opted to look at our normal partner Detta, but their Vinci system, uh, which is an aerodynamic flat handlebar, as you can see, and this very aerodynamic front, front section to the stem. This area here is one of the biggest areas that causes air disturbance in aerodynamics for moving forward. There's two little pieces here that sit either side of the stem. These come off and we'll be putting on the aerodynamic extensions that fit on here, which are also um, covered on the bottom. We actually have them away having the, the insides filled like with a soft process so that your elbow sits down into the, into the material that's set into the carbon fiber holder to hold them. So we don't actually have those as yet, but they're on their way. Uh, you will see that Detta have actually built and manufactured uh, an aerodynamic uh, stack system here that's actually manufactured specifically for this frame. So it allows this whole frontal area here to be really aerodynamic. Probably one of the most beautiful aerodynamic uh, Colnagos that they've ever made. Um, we were very fortunate to be able to access this one. Uh, I think if you look at the front of the bike, uh, or at the rear of the bike, you'll see the slim line that the bike holds in the air. Uh, it's finished in this incredible, I don't know if the video can actually enhance it or not, like, but it's a, it's a black with this gold flake through it. So in the sunlight, it's an incredibly beautiful frame to look at. Um, the bike itself is shod with a Campac Nolo group set. Now again, uh, we chose uh, to go with the 11 speed system. And there's two reasons for that. Uh, one reason is I have again chosen from an endurance or ultra distance uh, viewpoint to stay with mechanical brakes, mechanical shift, and rim brake, uh, which I have pr pr proven to myself is uh, very reliable, which is one of the key components of an endurance race. Uh, and the functionality is absolutely perfect. One of the small details uh, that I like about the 11 speed group set is the, the uh, anatomic shape of the actual lever and shifter really suits the shape and size of my hand. So it makes it very comfortable over a very long period of time when you're talking days and nights and in some cases, some of the races will be going to afterwards, multiple days. Uh, so again, it's a Campag Nolo, mechanical shift, rim brake, group set in 11 speed format. Um, in the 11 speed at the rear, we have titanium sprockets um, mounted on, and the bike is sitting on two of the handmade Zentis five spoke carbon wheels. Now, these are one of the most dynamic aerodynamic wheel that there is made. The objective uh, is to have as little friction in the rolling aspect of the wheel, uh, and as little friction here at the top of the tire. So. With the Mark III's, you'll see here on the side of the rim, the aerodynamic properties is actually grooved into the side of the rim here. And this is a special rim, uh, rim brake, fa brake face uh, that we have uh, put together with a Swiss stop um, specific carbon pads uh, to run on the rim. Uh, I think one of the big 
pieces of shifts that we have done with this build is again going to the efficiency aspect of things we've looked into both chain friction and the chain rings that the chain runs on uh, now there's a lot of talk uh, in today's world in relation to this these two topics and what we've done is we've found the two that we feel are the best suited to us uh, and we've coupled them together so what i'm going to show you here is these um, chain rings made by Absolute Black, our new partner. And when I revolve the chain, you'll see they are not round the rings, they're oval in shape. So that's the first part of this partnership between the oval rings and this incredible looking chain that we have on here. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. Um, oval rings do not increase wattage. So they don't, they don't increase your power. What they do is they make you more efficient. They actually allow the torque to be maximized at its maximal point, but it also allows the resistance to be at its least whenever the torque is not loaded. So you have this offset situation. I think uh, another part to talk about is how circular revolution of cranks and the musculature of the leg don't actually work that well in biomechanics. The leg struggles to keep a continual circle or motion, whereas when you have an oval ring, it allows that to be alleviated and it works much better. So effectively, in layman's terms, uh, pedaling in a circle is actually easier when you have an oval crank or an oval chain ring. And uh, so it, be it becomes very efficient uh, in that process. So we've coupled that with this incredible chain that has been waxed in a certain way by a company called GLF. So absolute back chain rings, GLF waxing process. Uh, and the process here is also really intriguing because the chain is actually taken right back to its original format. It's stripped back with ultrasonic clean and, uh, and then it's re-waxed again. But the process that, that, that it goes through in the preparation stages, considering every link has eight frictional faces on it. So in a standard chain of 113 links, uh, and you were to run that at 95 RPM, you're looking at over 40,000 pieces of movement of face against each other. That's all creating friction. And what we're trying to do is to alleviate that to its, to its lowest point. So effectively, the power gain, if you want to call it, uh, in every revolution is maybe around four watts of power, but that's per revolution. So multiplied over the amount of time that we're going to be on the bike over 24 hours, that reduces the energy output. So when you couple the chain rings and the chain together uh, in this one area that we're talking about in the drivetrain, it lowers down the amount of energy that's required uh, to have the same output. We always choose Victoria in tires. And we're gonna use the course of speed and we're also gonna take an option of the track speed, which is a piece of one, which is a slightly smoother and lighter se section than this one here. Uh, both ends front the same. Again, graphite top, right? New product as well. And the final piece that we're going to talk about is the Wahoo pedals that we're partnered with. I think the significant part to talk about here, the pedal, the original part of the pedal out here with locks to the shoes, exactly the same. But what's different for me is the actual spindle that holds the pedal, instead of being 53 millimeters in length, it's now gone to 59 millimeters. So if you take that six millimeters on each side of the extension, that's to accommodate the new position that we've, we've actually uh, applied to this bike. And that all derived from the uh, issue that I had last year where I had to have some shoe alterations and position alterations. So we've put the new system all onto this bike and built it uh, that way. Saddle, my standard Celitalia SLR. This one has seven millimeters of biofoam added into the carbon fiber interior. Uh, again, just a little bit more of forgiveness in the saddle, considering the duration of time that we're going to be there. It also has carbon fiber railers uh, and as light as possible. This is what we've ended up with. This is our Colnago concept that we'll be taking to the record. <laughs>